You're looking over here at an interesting question. It's particularly designed to frustrate a student or intimidate a student because it looks more difficult than it is. Hyperbolic cosine x plus hyperbolic sine x in a form of a binomial to the power of 2 or 3. How can you evaluate it? You have an identity which you can use to your aid. You have hyperbolic cosine x plus hyperbolic sine x to the power of a specific value n. You're not going to expand this using binomial expansion. You'll use that identity, which I'll tell you, it's equal to hyperbolic cosine of nx plus hyperbolic sine of that nx. You will run the n value to the basic definition of hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine. When you simplify it, your end result will always be e to the power of nx. I'm looking here at my n value is equal to 2 over 3. Therefore, my end result will be e to the power of 2 over 3 and then x. And that right there will be a correct answer. And you can run it through. You're looking here at an n value of 2 over 3 and you'd run it through. You would have hyperbolic cosine of 2 over 3x plus hyperbolic sine of the same 2 over 3x. Keep in mind the x is on the side. You can attach it to your numerator, but you wouldn't attach it to the denominator. You're looking at 2x over 3, not 2 over 3x. Or you can say 2 over 3 with the x on the side. So how would you evaluate it? You'd run the 2 over 3 into the basic definitions of both of these. I will have e to the power of 2 over 3x plus, this for hyperbolic cosine, e to the power of minus 2 over 3x divided by 2. This plus, you're seeing it right here, the definition of hyperbolic sine, e to the power of 2 over 3x minus e to the power of minus 2 over 3x over 2. Common denominator all the way across, these items will cancel. These two items will double because they're the same. e to the 2 over 3x plus the same is 2 e to the power of 2 over 3x over 2. Don't forget the denominator. When these cancel out, you're left with your end result, and that right there is what you're looking for. Your end result of this specific expansion or evaluation, I wouldn't use the word expansion because you're not expanding it, but the evaluation is equal to e to the power of 2 over 3x, and it will be correct.